Well, I mean, it's, I, I don't know, it's crazy. Like, did we all think we were gonna go back to work? I don't know. I mean, you know, the, the lockdown happened and all of this like serious life happened and I was like, I don't know when I'm gonna act again. And so uh, just the fact that we're back doing this and having full audiences and, and um, all in this community together experiencing our show, it just feels incredible. Listen, it, to get a Tony nomination uh, is an extraordinary thing for an actor when you're from Australia, from Sydney, and you've dreamt of going to Broadway one day in your life. It's especially gratifying, but post pandemic, I think it's all the more meaningful for everybody because in, it genuinely is a celebration of our theatre community, of us all coming back together. And the Tony Awards, and I know this, I've posted it four times, it, there's a feeling in that room like no other award show. It genuinely is about community, but no other time, I think, in the 75 year history have we appreciated that community more than now. It means the world. I started crying the moment the nominations happened the other day for the Design Awards because I was immediately brought back to those first few months where we were all wondering, are we ever going to come back? So the fact that we are is the real award. That's the cake. And this wonderful honor is the frosting. And I'm going to lick every little bit of it. And I thank you so much to the nominating committee and this community for embracing not only me, but our show. And we're in this together. It means the world. I mean, I think everyone has worked incredibly hard to, to make this thing happen, to, to tell stories again in the safest way possible. And I couldn't be more honored to be a part of this season. It, it truly is and speaks to the heart of all of these souls that love to tell stories. It, in, in some ways, it feels like the possible change that we talk about starting to creep its way into the mix. Um, I've said before, it feels like the world had to turn upside down for me to finally get to Broadway. Um, and that's sort of what it feels like, that after these two years of so many conversations, so many things happening, for a, a little bit of, of movement to happen. And it's a little bit. I think that, like, I am one person, so, so but a little bit of movement has, it's definitely progress. There's been a lot of champagne. Um, uh, we luckily had um, an event planned to honor Barbara Whitman the night of the Tony nominations, and it turned into just like a giant celebration of the show. And so it felt great to have this kind of gala that that was brought us all together to kind of hug each other and celebrate the 11 nominations. Lots of screaming, lots of, um, yeah, like, you know, it's very hard not to think about it. And cause, I mean, we're still doing the show, so it's like, a fight to, you know, especially because I have some really kind of heavy moments when I just want to read, I just want to celebrate, you know, and this little girl is about to come any day now. So it's, it's very overwhelming right now, you know, all of this amazingness and then this amazingness is about to happen. Um, by working, <laughs> I'm doing, thankfully, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of work going on. Uh, what was wonderful is I had a full day in the studio on Monday. I got home around 10 and my wife and I uh, opened a, sh a bottle of champagne that we've been saving um, and we just sat and, and had great takeout and just got to talk about it. And that I always love being able to celebrate those moments with Rita. So that was a wonderful way to do it. I had a lovely toast with some friends and we laughed and we talked about TikTok phenomenons and another friend said, yeah, we got a party on a Tuesday. And I was like, I don't know what that means. I'm turning older, but still, um, I called my family. We had a group FaceTime. I got myself some flowers. I received some flowers. I lit a candle and I, I said thank you to all the wonderful people that helped make it happen. So it's been interesting because, you know, eight shows a week, it's no joke. So you can't go too crazy. But I, I did buy a little small bottle of root champagne. And, and I also got cronuts from, <laughs> from down. And I had this delicious cronut. And me and my best friend slash roommate, we poured a little bit of champagne in our glasses and we tinked. And that's been about it. Everything else has just been working out and, and doing the show and trying to stay as fit and healthy as I can so that I can share this gift of Paradise Square with the world. Yeah.